MMA Nut and, and Studio MMA. We're here with the CEO of Strike Force, Scott Coker in Dallas. Scott, Scott um, obviously a great card. Uh, this heavyweight tournament has gotten great, great reviews from everyone. Would you say that the winner of this tournament is going to be the number one fighter, heavyweight fighter in the world? Well, I can tell you the beauty about this tournament is not maybe after this fight, but whoever wins the championship in, let's say, first quarter of 2012 will have went through a gauntlet of the top world-class fighters in strike force so you know to me they they will clearly have a uh, a number one ranking in in, in strike force in the heavyweight division because it's a it's a you got to be an animal to win this tournament very true you got some of the top names from from all times from pride strike force ufc and now obviously merging with with the ufc is it official could is it being talked about potentially putting the winner of this tournament against the reigning ufc heavyweight champion you know uh right now there's no uh plans to do that right now uh but uh you never know in the future right understood and uh the the whole the whole merge is it any different what, what's the main difference for you well i'll tell you um you know before we had a very small staff and we were doing amazing fights and i think we were doing great television for showtime uh, but now you have a, a big inner structure of people that can uh you know help on and on board so it's made our job a lot easier and and i think it's uh it's going to be good for the brand and and it's been good for the company Talking about the brand, um, I've been to several of the of the Strike Force events and been fortunate enough to have the chance to fight for for you myself. And uh, there is a difference in in the branding and also in the event in itself between Strike Force and UFC. In the atmosphere, even in the crowd and the way the events are put on, are you planning on maintaining that difference between the two organizations? Yeah, I mean, if you if you look at Strike Force, we still have the the ramp and the walkway, and you know you're still going to see. And Showtime has its lighting rig, and it's still going to be the same look feel of, of uh, uh, like we always have done. Any. Uh, uh, predictions for tomorrow night? You know, Sorry, I, not tomorrow night, Saturday night. I tell you, I can't make predictions because it's a little unethical because as a promoter, but I can tell you this. In the history of MMA, I don't think I've ever seen a top to bottom heavyweight tournament. You know, Fedor, uh, Alistair Overeem, Fabrice Verdum, Josh Barnett. I mean, the list just goes on. Karatanov. It's like the list goes on and on. I don't think you could arguably say this is the greatest tournament ever put together in the heavyweight division ever. Argument. I agree with you. No, I, I agree with you. That argument. So, you know, I think that I'm going to sit back as a fan. I'm going to enjoy it and uh, let the better man win. So, go ahead. One last question for you, Scott, as well. Uh, the sudden victory. You added one round since you can't have a draw in the tournament. Uh, it makes sense. Uh, what was the plan before that, and and what brought this up? Well, when we uh, when we uh, had the uh, tournament in February, we did a extra judge, right? So, uh, you know, we got together with Mark Ratner and uh, all the officials uh, and uh, inside the Zuva offices and they felt that the extra round was a, a better, uh, a fair, a more fair opportunity for everybody. And uh, I said, that sounds great, let's do it. And really, it's, it's so historical in martial arts fighting to have a, an extra round. K1 does it, Elton Fighter does it. So it's, uh, it's something that's kind of par for the course. Is it being made official somehow with, with the amount of time between round three and potentially round four? Uh, and and uh, as the if it's a close fight, yes. do the fighters? How does it work? You mean as far as if the if they go to if 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 the fight ends and it's a draw? Right, and and if, if if the fighters or coaches or corners feel that this fight's been close, it could potentially go to the fourth round. How does it work? Do they wait for the judges to read out the score, oh, yeah. and meanwhile, do they sit down or they're standing up, or how does it work? Well, Just I the think, details. I think that you know, uh, my opinion is, if I was a coach, I'd be I tell my fighter, sit down, get him ready. As Jimmy Lennon announces the decision, if it's got to go to fourth round, then they'll be ready to go. Great. One last question for you as well. The final. It's going to be five rounds. Five rounds. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.